So since we addressed the collar grip, now we're gonna address the next grip, which is the sleeve, right? So again, Del Hiva, he has this sleeve, okay? So when I'm here, I, if he has a sleeve grip, it basically he's pulling me to, into a slouched angle, and I don't want that. So whenever he has a sleeve grip, I have to get something. I'll grab a material to keep my elbow back a little bit, okay? The first grips, there's, there's going to be a, multiple ways to break this grip here, all right? The first one I think is pretty easy is that you pull it out and you get a C grip around the pinky side, okay? And then now I can close, pull, and like pop here, okay? That's how I think should be your first attempt because it's easy. Just pull back, create, take out the slack, and boom. And you just be patient here, okay? That's the first one. You retract, get inside, and pop, okay? The next one. I'm gonna pull my arm to me, grab a cross sleeve grip. Again, pull my arm to me, grab something here, cross sleeve, and now look, I can pull his sleeve to me and then push, right? And then now I can get the dominant sleeve control here if you do decide to pass with the sleeve, okay? So first one, boom. Second one, I'll pull to me, cross sleeve, and back, and then pull the sleeve back up, and you can get a better grip control, okay? The third one, all right, which kind of can go with the first one as well, all right, is you can just swim your hand here, right? Grab again. I call it the Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi is my way of breaking grips. So I'll swim in, and I'll try to go all the way around to here. I can even go over the wrist here. But I personally feel if you spin, you have to go in first towards the thumb. And then now it forces like a wrist lock here. Okay. So again, let's go over the three. Okay. First one, you can retract your arm. You're doing a row to a C grip and forcing it to his thumb. Okay. Or you can do a Mr. Miyagi, right? You can swim over. You can swim under. Right. Now the third one. Pull your sleeves to you, boom, okay? The third one, and there's also another one that kind of the same as the, the sleeve break, go ahead and hold it, is you're gonna go palm to knuckle. So I'll go retract, palm to knuckle, boom, okay? The only issue I have with the palm to knuckle is that I kind of don't have a grip afterwards. So if I was to go here, and as Roth feels me, he's losing the grip, he'll probably step on my foot, and kick me out, you see? And now look, he's already grabbing something else, okay? So the option is here, boom, but you have to be go back into it, okay? So again, review of the sleeve grip, the grip, breaking the sleeve grips. So I retract, C grip here, boom, okay? Other one, you can Mr. Miyagi is swimming out, other one, Palm to knuckle, or my personal favorite, pull, sleeve grip, pull back up, dominate the grips, okay? Cool. If you grab the same side here, right? If you grab the cross sleeve grip, same things apply, right? You can go here, right? I don't think it's a good idea to swim just because he already has my shoulder pulled down. Remember, I need to be head to head. So I'll stay forward, same side sleeve grip, pull it to me. Okay, and then we're here, all right? You can even go palm the knuckle on this side, which I think is easier to do on this arm because I'm still in front of him. But if you had this sleeve and I did this, you see I'm changing the angle of my shoulder. I'm facing away from Roth here, all right? So, boom, all right? And this could be a drill with your partner at home if they just grab your sleeves, right? Boom, I don't want to let him, he's going, right? I'm already fighting it, not allowing the setup, right? Boom, here, okay? So since we're here, right, we'll transition into dealing with the belt grip, okay? So now we're gonna go into a belt grip, okay? So let's actually reset. So as you saw here, right, say he has a sleeve grip, and the instance come where I try to push his hand, he kicks my leg out, and I break the grip and he grabs my belt, okay? 
So to break the belt, right, I have to address the hand. I can't address the shoulder, I can't address the elbow, I need to address his hand. So his hand is in a fist, right? How do we open our hand? We open the palm, right? So to release a grip, we need to open. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna keep my hips forward. I need to keep my hips forward. If I keep my hips open, my hips face this way, making it easier for him to pull me into him with a knee pull, and then dropping here and continuing to go underneath, okay? So that's why I need to be in front of him, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, he has it on this hip. So I'm gonna use this hand, my form is gonna massage his form here to his fingers. Now I can create like a figure four, a Kimura grip here, and then look, boom, pop. Okay, so again, so if he's here, I'll go form to form, the blade of my wrist into his hand. Right, let's actually go this way, and then let's drop this leg so they can see, and then open your hand this way, like your wrist, yeah. So you see his hand like that? I need to, I need to do this to create a flat surface or to be released, okay? So that's why my form is going along his form, not my whole form. If I go my whole form, look, look at my posture. What is it? Slouch, right? Look, boom, okay? So I go, my feet is active, form, opening up his hand, I can create a grip. Like a, like a Kimura grip, and you can even grab the sleeve. And look, fix your back. Boom. Now I'm tall. Okay. I'm gonna turn this side. All right, if he has that sleeve grip, or excuse me, his collar grip, belt grip. <laughs> <laughs> you say every grip, but the grip he's doing. <laughs> so again, so we'll go here, right? This side. I don't go here. This isn't strong. Right, I can try it, I'll try it and you can see it. It won't go. Even if I go all the way, that means I'm leaning back now. I stay square. Inside, right? This other hand can maintain a pant grip to control his leg. And then once I feel my thumb and stuff is in this area here, that's when I can then open up his hand. See, it goes like this. All right, so one more time. Boom. Fix my back, here, okay? So as I was explaining the position to you guys, my back was rounded. And with that, my back was really tired staying there. So by me staying like this, it's exhausting. You have to find your positioning to where you can break grips, all right? So real quick, let's go over the sleeve to the belt, all right? So sleeve grip, you can, boom, Mr. Miyagi it, palm to knuckle it, Sleeve control, here, same thing here. Sometimes you can like, what, and break it out, but that doesn't help. And then look, here, okay? Or I can just constantly swim it inside. He grabs the belt, form, figure four, Kimura grip, boom, and then we have control, okay? That's for sleeve and belt. 